Now, I actually probably should have talked about this a really long time ago on the channel, because this is not news that is very new at this point. This is pretty much from, like, earlier in March, uh, but I just wanted to talk about it today. I know that it is March 13th, but under the same token, I figured we might as well talk about this today because I did not cover it on this channel yet, so I'm just going to talk about it anyways. And yes, this video is not clickbait. This is actually real news going on here. The PS5, the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series S, and obviously the PS5 Digital are all going to get stronger. Now you may ask me, how, how can such a thing happen, Jimmy? Well, my answer to that is DLSS competitor. Basically, if you didn't know what DLSS is deep learning super sampling, what it does is it takes a lower res image and brings it up to a higher res image by basically AI. So the AI, what it does is, is it upscales everything to the point where some people say they prefer the look of it over the actual native 4K image, or that's just an example. Maybe it's not native 4K, maybe it's native 8K. So the thing is, is that something like this actually is really good for these consoles and really good for our pockets. Basically what it is is, is AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. It is really, really cool and I'm excited to see this technology put into these new consoles, but you may be asking me, Jimmy, why does this matter? We already know that these new consoles are super, super powerful. Do they need more power? Well, that's the thing. They don't need more power now, but this may help out our pockets, like I said earlier. This may help us all out because we may not have to buy mid-gen refreshes. Think about it. If it could DLSS up to a checkerboard 8K or something like that, then the the idea of getting a mid-gen refresh may be extinguished. Now, I know Sony probably is going to put one out anyways. Xbox might not. But Sony for sure is going to release a PS5 Pro at some point. I have no doubt about that in my head. But still, it's just going to make that original PS5 so much better and last so much longer. Maybe they won't have to release it in three years like they did in 2016 with the PS4 Pro. Because those that generation of consoles was fairly weak. I mean, it wasn't even that big of a jump from PS3 to PS4, Xbox 360 to Xbox One. Yes, it was a big jump. I'm not discrediting it. All I'm saying is the jump from Xbox One to Xbox Series X is like seriously massive. It's like one of the biggest jumps we've ever had. Had. So by doing this, maybe the PS5 Pro, instead of coming out in 2023, maybe it'll come out in like 2024 or 2025 maybe. It'll give us all more time to recoup our money and everything before we have to buy another one if you're into buying those. I don't know, maybe you don't buy the mid-gen refreshes. For me personally, it depends on how big of a difference it is. I might buy it, I might not. It all is just going to depend on that for me. But overall, I think this is really great news, and NVIDIA kind of started the LSS 1.0, and everyone kind of got a bad taste in their mouths because it didn't really run very well, it didn't really make that big of a difference, but now people are seeing with the LSS 2.0, it's actually a super cool thing, and it also helps frame rate and helps you to reach resolutions that the console wouldn't be able to do before, so AMD's coming out with this, and it's not only on those, not only on the next-gen consoles, it's also coming to my PC gamers out there, so great for you as well, running these new AMD graphics cards. I actually am considering getting a 6800 XT. I don't know if I should get that or a 3080. I need to definitely upgrade my computer. The components are getting pretty old in there. This kind of just makes me more now want to go towards AMD because of the fact that this Fidelity FX Super Resolution, if it's any good compared to DLSS, that would be a game changer. DLSS 2.0 was the thing that was holding me to NVIDIA before, but if AMD is going to give their own shot at it and it could be just as good if not better because the ray tracing performance is lower on AMD consoles, maybe it'll actually be better. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this will actually be the more superior way of AI upscaling an image. Who knows what's going on, but I just wanted to bring you this quick little news tidbit. A lot of people think this is also coming to the Switch Pro, not in the form of Fidelity FX Super Resolution, but in DLSS 2.0 with the Switch Pro. I think that'd be really cool, and I kind of hope they do it, but there's no 100% saying what goes on. This is just the news. This is just the information that I was told and I wanted to bring to you all. I know I am late on that. I apologize for that, but I still think it's super cool, and I definitely think it's worthwhile at least mentioning because the fact that, you know, these consoles are already massively powerful, and some people seem to think they're not powerful enough. A lot of people are complaining, oh, it's only as powerful as like a 2060, a 2080 Ti, I could destroy a PS5. Yeah, but those GPUs are almost the same price as the PS5, so I don't understand what people thought. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to drop me a like, comment, maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. I do at least one video a day at 8.30 a.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time, and sometimes I do do a double upload like I did a couple days ago if something big happens that I wasn't really ready for. So that's all I have to say in this video. Again, thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and thank you for everything. Jimmy out of here.